This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Who what's up people? Dobbs Wars is right here and welcome to the final Pokemon Tin Battle Arena Fight! It's not the final Pokemon pack coming in yet. There is a big one coming up after this episode. So please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Oppo and Liverpool. And today we are opening up the final tin of the battle. Eevee time, a bit of evolution. Now, as you guys know, if you guys haven't seen the last two episodes, go back and watch them now if you want to know about the battle. If you guys are back here and you can't be asked, I'm still not telling you what I pulled, but I can tell you the points. Eternatus got one point. Yeah, very disappointing. Pikachu, on the other hand, got seven points, which was unbelievable. Now, if you guys don't know the rules and you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what this battle means, normal promo cards are worth one point. That is it, just a point. Same as a normal foil rare is worth a point. Reverse foil rares worth no points. But also, the V cards, EXs, and GXs, they are worth two points. There you go, there's a price right there. And also, the full arts, they are worth three points. Same thing as the trainer full arts. Here's your code, and it's gone. For rainbow rares and gold cards, they are worth four points. However, some sets contain secret shiny cards, but also the most valuable card in the set. If we have the most valuable card in the set, it's worth 5 points, but if you get yourself the shiny card, it's worth 5 points too. So, we've got Eevee, Eevee right here, beautiful as ever, very cute, 1 point. We've got 2 Blaze in the base, uh, Darkness of Blaze, we've got 1 Sun and Shield, and 1 Sun and Moon base set, a Legacy Pack. Let's open up the Legacy Pack as always, out with the old, in with the new. Cue the music, let's hope we can pull some of that grey. Whew, let's get this train rolling. Hopefully we get something good. There's yeah, so a darkness energy. Nest Ball. Araquanid. Professor Kakui Kakashi. We got Dupida. We got the Ugly Eevee. We got Stuffle. We got Litter. We got Torku. We have a reverse for Picky Pack. And a Giggle. Normal Hollow Rare. I'll take that. It's a point. So it's already in the it's already second place, which is great. Next up, Sword and Shield. Let's see what we can pull here. Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four. This holds a Mal Energy, Lucky Egg, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Rosalia. A um, a Tutel, a Billbug, Rhyhorn, Clotopus, a Bolton Reverse for a Rare, not bad, but it's not worth any points, and a Stone Journeyer, Ugh, Stonehenge, of course. So a Reverse for a Rare, it's worth, it's not worth any points, but it'll definitely go straight to Card Empire as always. Next up, down is a Blaze. Can we pull that Charizard that we still need for my collection? It's the only Charles that I've not pulled yet out of the ones that I've opened up. And yes, I've not opened up any Shining Fates because I don't have them just yet. Why? Because of the scalpers and the big massive YouTubers who've got stupid money to burn have been buying the whole lot. So for us lot who are small YouTubers, we can't get them. So we have to wait for a chance to pull anything good or spend more money and buy them on eBay for twice the price. So I'm not being that stupid. We've got Hippopotamus Reverse Foil and a Hooper Hollow Rare. I'll take that. It's another point. So he's got three points. Now pretty much if we get the most expensive card or a shiny card it wins. But if we get a Rainbow Rare or a Gold card it draws. This is determining whether it wins or draws or it comes second. Let's hope we get something good here for the final pack of the day. We have Fire Energy. I'm, I'm, I feel that Charizard coming. Team Yell. 
a horn, Fluffy, Carvana, Pansia, Molu, Wishy Washy, um, Kufant, Dino, a reverse world Aridos, oh, and a whole, and a normal rare Meltang or Mel Metal. Well, yeah, fair enough. It's a cool semi-legend. I'll take it either way. But hell, the Eevee did quite well. He got uh, two extra hollows. Got three points overall. Not as bad at all. I think I'll take that out of four packs. But let's have a look at what we pulled today. <coughs> Excuse me. For reverse foils, we have ourselves Eriodos and Hippopotamus and Piggy Peck. For reverse foil rares, we have ourselves a Bolton. And then we have ourselves our Hollow Rares. We have Hooper for one point, Gila for one point, and Eevee's V promo for one point. Three points overall. So as you guys know, third place was Eternator, if you call its name. I don't remember. Inter third place was Eternatus. Second place was Eevee. But first place from the beginning of the video with seven points, Pikachu, of course, comes on top. No surprise right there. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you stay tuned for the final pack opening of the month. It is a massive box. It's massive. It's the Ultra Beast GX box with a massive playmat and a load of retro cards and retro packs. Hopefully you can pull something awesome and I'll see you there. Make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. The people I'm seeing you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Okay. It's time for the big boys. Bring on the awesomeness of the Ultra Beast GX box. Bring it on. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! oh my god! We got him! We got him! Oh my god! No! Oh! 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 Oh my!